All right, and welcome to part two of the trials video series. So this one will be about the Horde trials, and these are pretty spicy. Those are the only ones that even got changed. For example, the one at Chapel with the extra hellhounds. I think these are the most difficult ones, and yeah, you will see it that probably the ones with the emulators with the hellhounds. Some people have issues with the one on Scapa or also the one at Livestock. I have them all covered. I hope I can explain them well enough for you guys and I would say we jump right into it and I hope you will like it. Enjoy! Alright, first horde trial. Meatheads. Killing them for Winnie. Oh, I hate it when they spawn inside. If you can hear them swing, you can always jump, like this, then you can at least dodge one hit from them. The meat heads inside are the most difficult ones. I hope this doesn't happen too often. Oh, this one might be good. Yo, you have to be careful here. When you do this, you can't take any damage. The fire will go over there and ignite the red barrel. Also close this afterwards. Again, this is just, I want to show how you complete it, not how you get the best time. Otherwise you would, of course. Oh my god. Also, be careful with the hip fire. Okay. I was a little bit scared that it was too close. It worked. So, three done, three and a half minutes left. Why is this? Always close all the doors, it's making it way easier. I'm sorry dude, but I have to do it like this. Yep. Well now this is open, but okay. Four of eight. Oh my god. Ew, 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 ew. Oh, he actually helped me. Good boy. Yo, he's killing. Ha um, did I already mention that this is a little bit RNG heavy sometimes? <laughs> No kidding. So they can spawn everywhere. They can spawn right behind you if you're unlucky. Yeah, just like so. And again, this is not a challenge about killing the meatheads in time. It's more a challenge about not getting fucked by the ringing effect. Oh, that's a good one. I might get lucky here and get um, get a barrel kill, or I don't. Or I do. I do. Nice. Just be careful here. If one barrel goes off, sometimes they set up another one. So I need only one more. Wait, what? minute left. That's okay. That's okay. Again, this is just how to complete that on hard and not how to get the best time. You can do that way better. 
especially with some good spawns. All right, catfish grow. So let's see. Oh, down here. Nice. So you have an aftermath. Kill and okay. Kill and banish types. Simple. The dangerous part right here with this challenge is it's not the time. You have more than enough time. It's more that the Hive Swarm attacks you, you know, through windows and stuff like that. And that the Sneaky Grunts swarm you. Which they love to do, and you don't have enough ammo you know, to get rid of them all. Yeah, I like that one, for example. Oh, not this again. Okay. Also, no damage at all, so I'm a little bit careful here with the falling damage. I see. Need to banish that. But that's okay. I will probably kite these guys here. Just like so. Perfect. Okay, that's. Just to be sure there. This was one of these examples where you don't have a pretty line of sight to them. And then they just send the bees at you. Or the wasps, actually. So I would actually just kite the grunts, as you can see, 5 of 6, oh I think that's actually one, oh my god. Oh! Will she send the swarm at me while I'm on the ladder? No. Also be careful, they are sometimes pretty close to barrels. And this will not end well for you. So you can see I have two and a half minutes left. It's absolutely no big deal regarding the time. Wait. So be careful with the barrels that you don't blow yourself up or take damage from them. And be careful with the grunts. I would recommend kiting the grunts, like with dropping down somewhere. Works pretty well. Alright. Still water. Lots of people hate it. I think it's okay. If you get a little bit of luck with the spawn points. So, if you go the explosive way, then you have to be careful with the red barrels. Yo, okay. Bad dog. Yo, seriously. Leave me the fuck alone. Okay. That's the time. But you have to be careful of this when you use the dynamite sticks. Or you shoot the emulators. And they set off poison barrels. You have no way to get rid of the hive swarm. You have to run. Please don't, I still need that. Just a kill here. Again. Heavy, heavy light. Heavy is how I do it. Works like a charm. No poison barrel over there. I'm gonna speed that up a little bit here. 
Don't get too close while cooking, otherwise you trigger him. And just wait for the barrel to explode. And sometimes the barrel sets off a barrel, so... This is not about time. I don't want to jinx it, but I think I will have more than enough time when I finish this. 6 out of 11. I'm not even half time, so... We can even slow walk a little bit to get some stamina back. I think I parkour a little bit. High ground is also excellent. Isn't there a red barrel? Oh, this is just great. Yeah, we're gonna wait that. We're gonna wait that. Nice. Oh, the poison! All good. All good. Downstairs again. So you even have the time to wait out the poison barrels when you trigger them. Always close doors. So the dogs can't get inside, so you only have to deal with the ones that spawn in here, actually. Like that one. Yeah, see, I have one and a half minutes left, and only two more to go. So this is more about safe play, the perfect play. Again, I'm just talking here about how to finish these challenges on hard, not how to get the best time, obviously. Okay. That should be it. I have enough stamina for it, dude. I don't see any dogs here. Nice. Wait, a minute left. My spawns were okay. They could be worse, but they could be better. So yeah, next. So now we have Blanched Graves, and I think this is the one of the Concertina armors. Avoid any damage. So you need to know that you have Fanning. <laughs> This makes this a little bit easier. And there are plenty of ammo boxes, so you can bayonet step them. I do not recommend doing that. It's too risky. Just do it like so. And we do that now basically 10 times again. That's, uh, I would say, one of the easier ones. Not gonna question it. If you have plenty of grunts, you can always use the knuckle knives, but avoid any damage so I can't jump down there. Because of fall damage. Uh, lots of running here, and that's not that ideal. But Never gets old, I tell you that. God, I hate these fucking knives. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? Okay. I still should have more enough time. Which will be a show good showcase that again, it's not about time, it's more about more about the safe play. Look how much time I have left. Crazy. You can also place a few traps. I think it's not necessary. There you are. I was like, what the hell? Oh, sweet. My dude. Almost fucked up. I need only four more. Jesus Christ. Chill, guys. Oh, there was a red barrel, right? Eh. Eh. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. Cycle the ball. One, two. Always do a few 360s to check for the grunts. This is what made me retry most of the missions. Getting bum rushed by one of the grunts, not actually by the primary target. Yeah, I think that looks like a win. Overall, this is one of the more easier ones. there. Sweet. Complete. Next. Also, the music is awesome. Alright, next up is Livestock. Oh, no. Okay. So, the ones downstairs are... are bitches. I'm sorry. The one downstairs, they're really tough to deal with. So, save your Nitro Bullets. For the ones in the basement. They're really annoying to deal with. Watch for the swing. Because they have sometimes the same death animation as the Butcher. If they spawn north, like here, northwest, try to kill them with a barrel, otherwise take the dynamite. This one deserves a Nitro though. You can see the oil puddle here, or the oil stuff thingy. The problem with that is, it's blocking off my rotation path, so he gets a Nitro Bullet, he gets a Dynamite Bundle, although... Nice. Yeah, that saves a lot of time, if you can do that. Always try to rotate outside, not inside. It's a bit safer. No, oh, again, they're doing a lot of these death animations now, which is pretty annoying. And I think this challenge is a mix though between time and getting no damage. Normally I say, dude, no, no worries, you have enough time. But this one, this one is a pain, yes. I try to hide them in here. Just like so. Don't go back inside there because there's fire if you use it very well. So, just do it like so. Give me that one. Yeah, that one is a big dynamite bundle. For sure. There's no barrel over there. Take some ammo. <laughs> That was pretty early cook. Alright, that looks weird. I can barrel that dude. Why do I always say barrel to big dynamite bundles? I don't know. They almost have the same size, I guess. Okay. Nice. Yo, what the hell? Sometimes they spawn really close to you with all the smoke from the explosions. Nice. Three more to go. Three nitro bullets. That should be safe. If I don't stumble into that death animation. Yeah, I got only one basement spawn on top, so that's really good. No, they're all doing the animation now, you crazy. Switch faster, thank you. I 
I think I just kite these guys. Wow, dude. A minute 20? That's not bad. Of course. Sweet. Next. <laughs> Yo, all right. Alice, here we go. So about this one, um, you have a crossbow, but I tell you, you have more than enough, you know, bolts because they want you to banish them. So you just push F twice, and you will never run out of bolts. Nice. This one is again, time is no issue. Uh, the main challenge that I have with this one is AI triggers at you instantly. No matter where it spawns, it's crazy. They send the hive swarm at you super fast. And the grunts will just swarm you at one point. Yeah, I, I soft trigger the hive from here. This is uh, not normal. So that's part of the challenge, I would say. So halfway there. The spawns are okay-ish. I can reload on the roof. That's, uh, that was a nice spawn, thank you. Got lucky there. Yo! Give me a break. Jesus Christ. Hey guys. Oh shit. Crazy. Okay. And that's it. And that's it. Okay. Uh, a few more hints because uh, I got pretty lucky there with the spawns. Um, try to kite the grunts as much as possible for the reloads. Take the high ground. Try to gather the grunts while you're on the high ground on one side. Drop down on the other side and then just kite them. Or be just a lucky motherfucker. <laughs> So welcome to Scuffle Lake, probably one of the most annoying ones, whoever did that one from my tech, um, yes. So, Ignite Worldfire, like this one, like this one, and what you can do is you kite them over here, always where you can take the high ground super quickly again. The Hellhounds will just burn at one point. You can you can take all the falling damage, you can take all the fire damage, it doesn't matter. And I would just focus on... On getting the armors. Because that's the real issue, everything else, dude, nobody cares. The armored store, they can be true bitches. See, I mean, I have already 4 out of 10. Uh, And since you have plenty of time, just kite them over. Just kite them over. That's fine. 320, not even half time. This is not about time challenge. I just want to show how you can finish this one without suffering too much. Ooh. 
So halfway and I still have three minutes. All the dogs are burned. So now what I need is a little bit of uh, a few lucky armored spawns. Uh, not that one. <laughs> I'm stuck. So again, some high ground. Gonna go on the roof again. The roofs are super good. This one is absolutely safe, for example. Inside is not safe. They can spawn in there. Okay, and that's the final one. I think he's inside. Yes, he is. Okay, so that's... Wow. Okay. So the trick is, kite them to a ladder, or where you can go up quickly, ignite the world fire, and you're done. And you're done. I think I only tossed uh, one firebomb on a hellhound, and that was it. GG. Two minutes left. Noise. All right, this one is a spicy one. This is one of the trials that actually got changed. Now you have to kill 15 hellhounds <laughs> on top with fire. Um, what you need to know here is the emulators always spawn at the same locations. It's fixed. So I always try to take care of the emulators and then just burn the hellhounds. Heavy, heavy, light, heavy, you know the deal by now. And always separate the emulators from the hellhounds. Always. Because the hellhounds cleave, which means if there's an emulator right next to them, they will ignite him, and then you are on fire. And then, challenge over. At least if you want to have it on hard. Hey! Stamina. Done. This is a safe way. You can, of course, two tap. This one is a bit tricky, so I think I will use a choke bomb on him. So that's it. So now I'm looking for yellow barrels. Tied the AI through it. Just like so. That's quite a bit already. So 1 out of 15. This one is excellent. Because it's a choke point. here. Hi my dude. How was it going? Seven out of fifteen. Yeah, we're not coming. If you kill him, I don't think another one spawns. Uh, I'm not sure about that one though. Like so, vault over that, he will try to come back. So that's lots of vaulting and stuff like that. I need more of you guys. Ooh, nice, hello. Perfect. Ooh, nice. Get crispy.
I don't know what they're doing right now, but... 12, 13... 14... Yeah, and that is the last one. So just ignite the barrels at choke points, and then you vault over it. And done. Minute left. GG! I think that was the last hard one. I think the hard ones are the... Are the most challenging ones, so have fun with those. Alright, so this little mini series about the trials was a community request. Lots of people were asking me to show it on stream, so at one point I decided to make a little video about it. You know what's not so little? The support from these amazing people. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. I will probably release these three videos very quickly. There's also more stuff on the channel, not just guides. Have fun checking that out. Also, don't forget to say hi over at twitch.tv slash I see you in the next one. Until then, have a good day and bye-bye.